Picture two massive predators, each perfectly designed to kill, sharing the same hunting grounds 95 million years ago. Carcharodontosaurus stalked the land with shark-like teeth that could slice through bone, while Spinosaurus prowled the rivers with a crocodilian skull built for snatching fish. But here's the problem. The chem-chem beds of North Africa weren't big enough for both of them. When the dry season hit and water sources dwindled, these titans were forced into direct competition. What happened when 46-foot Spinosaurus met the bone-crushing jaws of Carcharodontosaurus? The fossil evidence reveals a shocking truth about their encounters. What happens when evolution designs two perfect killing machines for the same ecosystem? The answer lies in their bones. Carcharodontosaurus possessed a skull that was a masterpiece of predatory engineering measuring 5.2 feet long and lined with teeth that resembled a great white shark's arsenal. This massive head stretched over five feet from snout to back, rivaling the largest Tyrannosaurus skulls in sheer size. But size alone doesn't tell the complete story of this predator's lethal capabilities. These weren't just big teeth, they were paper thin blades, less than 0.4 inch thick, designed to slice rather than crush like a Tyrannosaurus. The teeth stood straight and laterally flattened with a spindle shaped cross section that created the perfect cutting instrument. Each tooth contained microscopic saw blades along both the front and back edges, turning every bite into a surgical procedure. The dinosaur carried approximately 60 of these weapons in its jaws, many stretching six inches long. Talk about a nightmare for any creature unlucky enough to encounter this predator. The engineering behind these teeth reveals something remarkable about Carcharodontosaurus hunting strategy. Scientists estimate the bite force reached two 543 pounds force at the front of the jaw and 5,720 pounds force at the back. While this sounds impressive, it's actually lower than Tyrannosaurus, suggesting Carcharodontosaurus didn't regularly consume bones. Instead, those razor sharp teeth were built for precision, slicing through flesh and muscle, creating devastating wounds that would quickly disable prey. The skull itself was surprisingly lightweight with massive openings that reduced weight while maintaining strength, allowing this 15, 400 pound predator to move with deadly speed. The antibital fenestra alone composed over 30% of the total skull length creating enormous gaps that saved precious weight without sacrificing structural integrity. Large pneumatic structures filled the skull bones, making the entire head lighter than you'd expect from such a massive predator. This design gave Carcharodontosaurus a significant advantage, the ability to strike fast and hard without being weighed down by unnecessary bone mass. The triangular outline of the skull, similar to other Carcharodontosaurids like Maposaurus, and Giganotosaurus created the perfect aerodynamic shape for rapid head movements during attacks. The maxilla featured a sculpted exterior that was unique to this genus, adding another layer of specialization to an already remarkable predatory tool. You definitely do not want to run into a creature whose entire skull was designed around the concept of efficient killing. Meanwhile, Spinosaurus evolved an entirely different approach, a crocodilian skull stretching even longer, but built for a completely different kind of kill. Where Carcharodontosaurus developed blade-like teeth for slicing terrestrial prey, Spinosaurus crafted conical teeth that weren't designed to slice, but to grip slippery prey. These pointed weapons worked like fishing hooks, perfect for snagging fish and other aquatic animals that might otherwise slip away from a predator's grasp. The nostrils sat high on the skull, allowing Spinosaurus to keep most of its jaws submerged while still breathing normally. This adaptation meant the predator could lie in wait like a modern crocodile with only the top of its head visible above the water surface. Unsuspecting prey would have no warning before those massive jaws erupted from what appeared to be calm water. The real secret weapon was its flexible neck capable of lightning fast strikes that could snatch fish from water faster than they could escape. This neck design allowed Spinosaurus to compensate for light refraction in water, adjusting its aim in milliseconds to ensure a successful catch. The entire hunting strategy relied on patience, precision, and explosive speed, rather than the brute force approach favored by land predators. These anatomical differences reveal the shocking truth. Each predator was perfectly adapted for its own hunting style, but fatally vulnerable when facing the other. Carcharodontosaurus excelled 
at bringing down large terrestrial prey with its slicing teeth and lightweight skull, while Spinosaurus dominated aquatic environments with its gripping teeth and flexible neck. Neither predator was designed to face an opponent with such radically different capabilities. The problem was that anatomy alone couldn't prevent the inevitable conflicts that would arise from sharing the same territory. When two apex predators occupy overlapping ranges, their specialized weapons become both assets and liabilities, creating a deadly game where survival depends on more than just superior design. The Chem Chem beds weren't just a habitat, they were a pressure cooker that forced these titans into direct confrontation. During the wet season, the region was a paradise of rivers and floodplains where each predator could maintain its own territory and hunting grounds. The Cenomanian stage climate brought monsoon rains that filled the waterways, creating an abundance of fish for Spinosaurus while providing ample grazing areas for the massive herbivores that Carcharodontosaurus preferred to hunt. These expansive river systems and swamps stretched across the southern shores of the Tethys Ocean, offering enough space for two apex predators to avoid each other most of the time. But the dry season transformed this ecosystem into a death trap, shrinking the waterways and concentrating all life around the remaining water sources. The monsoon patterns that defined this ancient climate meant months without significant rainfall, causing rivers to become shallow streams and forcing every living creature to compete for access to the dwindling water supply. Spinosaurus dependent on aquatic prey, uh, was forced to venture onto land in search of food while Carcharodontosaurus was drawn to the water's edge where dying animals gathered. This seasonal shift created a biological nightmare where territorial boundaries became meaningless and survival demanded constant vigilance. The fossil evidence reveals something disturbing. Both predators were opportunistic scavengers who wouldn't hesitate to steal kills from each other. When a Carcharodontosaurus brought down a large herbivore, the scent of fresh blood could travel for miles, potentially attracting a hungry Spinosaurus looking for an easy meal. Similarly, when fish died in mass numbers during drought conditions, Carcharodontosaurus might find itself competing for rotting carcasses along dried riverbanks. These encounters over food sources created tense standoffs where each predator had to decide whether the potential meal was worth risking injury from a rival. Chemical analysis reveals that while Spinosaurus ate primarily fish, it also consumed terrestrial prey when necessary, putting it in direct competition with land predators. The isotope signatures in Spinosaurus teeth show evidence of crocodiles, turtles, and smaller dinosaurs in their diet, proving these massive predators were far more adaptable than previously thought. This dietary flexibility meant that during harsh dry seasons, Spinosaurus wouldn't simply starve. It would actively hunt the same prey that Carcharodontosaurus depended on for survival. The presence of other large theropods like Deltadromius and Rugops created a complex web of competition where territory boundaries shifted constantly. These smaller but still formidable predators added another layer of complexity to an already dangerous ecosystem, sometimes serving as scavengers at the kills of larger predators or competing directly for medium-sized prey. Carcharodontosaurus possessed horn-like bumps on its skull, covered in keratin, likely used for intimidation displays when confronting rivals over carcasses. These bony protrusions served as visual threats, allowing the predator to appear even more menacing during territorial disputes. The dry season didn't just bring these predators together, it forced them into a survival game where only the most adaptable could claim the remaining resources. The real question wasn't whether they would meet, it was what would happen when they did. While no fossil has captured the moment of impact, the evidence of their conflicts is written in their bones and behavior. Modern predators rarely engage in direct combat, instead relying on intimidation, scavenging, and strategic avoidance to minimize risk. Lions and hyenas share similar ecological niches, but often engage in vocalizations and displays to assert dominance rather than risking a physical confrontation. These behaviors are driven by the high energetic costs and potential for injury associated with fighting, which can be detrimental to survival in any ecosystem. But the Chem Chem ecosystem was different. It was too small and resource poor to allow such luxury forcing these apex predators into unavoidable encounters. The environment presented a challenging situation that increased the likelihood of direct confrontations between Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus.
Resource scarcity could have led to more frequent and intense interactions as both species competed for the same limited food sources and territories. When survival depends on securing every available meal, the usual predator etiquette breaks down completely. Spinosaurus developed a paddle-like tail unlike any other giant theropod, giving it the ability to escape into deeper water when threatened on land. A 2020 study in Nature found that the tail was ideal for water propulsion, allowing for a wide range of movement, such as a sideways swinging motion. This aquatic escape route provided Spinosaurus with a significant tactical advantage during territorial disputes. When confronted by Carcharodontosaurus on land, Spinosaurus could retreat to deeper waters where its opponent couldn't follow effectively. The powerful forelimbs of Spinosaurus much more developed than those of other large theropods, could deliver devastating swipes to defend itself or attack rivals. These arms stretched over 6.5 feet long and ended in massive claws that could inflict serious damage on any attacker. Unlike Tyrannosaurus with its tiny arms, Spinosaurus possessed functional weapons that could slash and grab with tremendous force. Carcharodontosaurus countered with continuously growing teeth that replaced themselves like a shark's, ensuring its weapons stayed sharp despite constant use. This adaptation proved crucial in the competitive environment of the Chem Chem beds, where maintaining a sharp set of teeth was essential for securing kills and scavenging opportunities. A dull tooth meant the difference between a successful hunt and starvation during the harsh dry season. The lighter build of Carcharodontosaurus made it faster on land, but also more vulnerable to the crushing power of Spinosaurus's massive claws. This difference in build could have influenced the outcome of any direct confrontations with Spinosaurus, potentially having an advantage in close quarters combat. Speed versus strength created a classic predator dilemma. Bite mark studies on other dinosaur fossils from the region show evidence of both predators feeding on the same carcasses, sometimes simultaneously. This suggests that scavenging was a significant part of their behavior and that they were willing to compete for the same resources. These adaptations weren't just for hunting prey, they were evolutionary arms race responses to living alongside another apex predator. The truth is that their war was fought not in single battles, but in a constant struggle for dominance over every kill, every territory, every resource. The Chem Chem beds reveal a fundamental truth about apex predators. They, even the most specialized hunters can't escape the brutal mathematics of ecosystem competition. When resources become scarce and territories overlap, survival trumps specialization every time. These titans didn't just coexist. They shaped each other through millions of years of evolutionary pressure, creating some of the most extreme predatory adaptations ever seen. Spinosaurus developed its paddle tail and massive claws, partly as responses to living alongside land-based rivals, while Carcharodontosaurus evolved continuously replacing teeth to maintain its edge in this competitive environment. The next time you see these dinosaurs portrayed as isolated monsters, remember that they were products of the most intense predatory arms race in Earth's history.